Myers on the I'm going to give the number out when we come back and go to your calls. Alex Jones Bunch and of news GCN coming up. Radio Network. Hi, folks. Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. It's 1,000 cubic feet is how they measure natural gas. Uh, like oils by the barrel or by the gallon. And then what, but what most of the computers read globally is British thermal unit. I get obsessed with factoids, not getting them right. And then I, it's one of the few things I'm OCD about is that once I want to know something, I want to know a quote, I want to know who said what, I want to know the year something happened. I like run around wild uh, until I find it and get quite obnoxious here behind the scenes. Uh, but again, thank you so much for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Putin is saying that they're basically preparing military action in Ukraine. There are formerly Russian hind helicopters and other attack helicopters given the Ukrainian military and tanks and armored vehicles uh, going into different cities there in the east uh, and more Russian troops are now massing. But that's not what matters, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, did you hear Michelle Obama was in Tokyo and it was really cool? Isn't that awesome? Putin warns of consequences as Ukraine steps up offensive Bulletproof subway restaurant, sad depiction of violence in Chicago. Jewish center, FBI shooter, 
was an FBI informant. They always are. FBI informant linked to cyber attacks abroad. It's now come out on Infowars.com that the latest cyber attacks globally were directed by the FBI. Compton mayor pushes back against unannounced surveillance using aircraft. Bundy has now responded uh, to folks saying that he's a racist. And the uh, right scoop has it, uh, I guess, on the Peter Schiff show. Uh, Clive and Bundy, and they asked him about it. So we also have the report uh, going up on YouTube right now. We interviewed uh, Bundy earlier, and he was able able to respond to that. George Clooney has stormed out of a Vegas dinner, calling someone an a-hole for insulting Obama. You're not allowed to talk about the Lord and Savior, according to Jamie Foxx, Barack Obama. And there is a lot more we're going to be breaking down up on Infowars.com. FBI informant directed hack attacks on Iran, Syria, and Pakistan. Told you that. They always use a front person to do it. That way they can uh, blame them later if they get caught. Hate Crime Reporting Act, a dangerous threat to free speech, uh, says the editors over at the Boston Globe. I'm surprised mainstream media, or Boston Herald, excuse me, that's also mainstream media, would be saying that it's frankly chilling what the Democrats are pushing. New York Times issues back page retraction on Russia troops and Ukraine photos. Cop responding to burglary kills victim's dog. That's an amazing story. It's like a little bitty dog. And then they shoot it, and then the cops are laughing on the video. And the, and the guys on the video going, why'd you shoot my dog? Why are you scared of a little dog? And the cops are laughing. It's really bizarre. Just no empathy. Just, and these cops that do bad stuff always look like little kids. Like bad cops usually aren't even evil people. They're just like cowardly, weird, little sycophant order takers who will do whatever they're told and have no humanity. Watson mentioned this earlier, but exactly like seven years ago, 2014 is turning out to be eerily similar to 2007. And it goes over the graphs. Oh, yeah. And then they're going to say, give us unlimited trillions again and banker bailouts again and let us take your part of your pension funds to protect them again. It's the same story over and over again. They're gearing up for that. Very important article. And then there's another one by Lou Rockwell. Bomb Syria for Ukraine's sake. Anne Marie Slaughter demonstrates that you need not scratch a humanitarian intervention. That's what wars are called now is peace prize events. Humanitarian, why not give Hitler a peace prize then? Humanitarian interventionists, much to uncover a warmongering neoconservative just below the surface. And that's what they're pushing now is let's go back into Syria while we're at it and back Al Qaeda that for three and almost half years, it's like three years, four months, there's been a Western backed destabilization, mass murder, blow up all the churches, crucify the priest, rape the women, eat the hearts. I say this stuff and it sounds like a lie. Cannibalism is just rampant by these people. Because Al-Qaeda is so sickeningly evil. And then I'm bad because I'm pointing out Al-Qaeda works for our criminal government. Sorry, though, it's in mainstream news now. We've normalized the truth. Yes, it was shocking many years ago to point out who Al-Qaeda really worked for. Shadow networks in the government. Call it Spectre. Call it Hydra. Call it the New World Order. Call it Davos. Call it Bilderberg by its real name. Hail Hydra. And, and, and why do you call it Hydra? Because it's got a bunch of heads cut off one to grow in its place. Until you recognize the systems and the modus operandi and the culture. You know, Stephanopoulos just signed a long-term deal at ABC News. And I was thinking about how they take the former head of Newsweek and put them at the White House, and then the, the last head of Newsweek and put them back at Newsweek, and then Stephanopoulos leaves the Clintons to run, you know, work the media. And then most of the people now on CNN, ABC News, NBC, most of them, if you search their names, were top-level political hacks. I mean, it is, in essence, state-run media, but not state-run. It's Democratic state-run. And see, Republicans had shared power, played ball with the globalist, kind of been the right wing of the New World Order takeover. No, no, no. They're slated for full elimination now.
And that's why if Republicans don't get religion and actually get into trying to save the country, you won't just destroy your grandchildren's future and your children's future and your future. You will literally have a one-party system run by the kleptocratic Democrats. And when they get their 30 million illegals legalized and then their families legalized, it's game over. One party ruling class. And they will rule with an iron fist. It's all over the news. They have databases of everybody. It's all over the news that um, they're tracking everyone in real time. Remember just a few years ago that didn't exist. And I was insane believing the government watches and listens to people. That was proof by the former Clinton uh, advisor who writes for Psychology Today. I was rereading that article yesterday. And I remember the interview I did with the guy. And it was all lies. He basically took everything I said and then twisted it and implied you know, basically that I was nuts. Really, am I nuts? Or are we nuts for letting things get this far down the road? Amazing. Let me go back to this article I just uh, mentioned here. Louisiana is coming out with a new system that tracks everything you do in real time to put it in databases to predict your pre-crime or to say you're suspicious. Now, under Magna Carta, Bill of Rights, Constitution, common law, Levitical law, any common sense ancient law, you don't get investigated until you've done something wrong or until they have evidence of it or until you've made statements. This is now, no, we just watch everyone. Right out of East Germany. And that headline was, Louisiana creates database of citizens who represent the rest of the state. Now, here's the new article, Hate Crime Reporting Act, a dangerous threat to free speech. Boston Herald editorial labels Bill a frankly chilling proposition. And I got to say, I saw USA Today criticizing some of the stuff that's going on. I see a lot of good stuff actually in USA Today. Critics of the newly proposed Hate Crime Reporting Act of 2014 have slammed the bill as a dangerous threat to free speech, warning that the legislation would hand a obscure federal agency, a Southern Property Law Center group, basically, chilling powers to restrict the First Amendment. Introduced earlier this week by Senator Ed Markey, the Hate Crime Reporting Act of 2014, along with its companion bill in the House, H.R. 3878, would task the National Telecommunications and Information Administration with filing reports on the Internet, radio and television contact that seeks to advocate and encourage acts, violent acts, and the commission of hate crimes. Crimes of hate. Remember how they're going to have the FCC visit all media, not just radio or TV they claim they have jurisdiction over, but they're going to come here because we're on AM and FM and we're on broadcast systems, but we don't broadcast ourselves. So they have no jurisdiction. Well, pretty soon they're going to show up and say it's a privilege to be on the air. We don't care if you're not broadcasting. You're going to pay us fees, and we're going to review everything you do and tell you what to cover. They're now announcing that. And that's when I say, you're not coming in my office. Get off. And that's when they call the SWAT team. And it'll be on the news. Didn't want to pay his FCC fees. Didn't want to didn't want to let him in. I mean, everybody knows that the FCC commission comes in and makes sure you're not a hate criminal. And I'll be like, no, actually, they're only over AM, FM, UHF, VHF. They're not supposed to be over anything but broadcast. They have no jurisdiction over the Internet. Now they're claiming it over cable and print. This is unconstitutional, but they're doing it by claiming that if you are broadcast on Wi-Fi anywhere, that gives them jurisdiction. They'll go, shut up, freeloader. Do what they say. That's what the government does is run your speech. Why, Diane Feinstein decides who gets free speech as well with her new Journalism Freedom Act. It's called Freedom. It's called the Protection of Journalist Act or whatever its name is. Look up uh, Feinstein's uh, Protection of Journalist Law that just failed for now. They're trying to pass again. I think it's like Protection of Journalist Act or some crud like the Patriot Act or NDAA or New Freedom or Affordable Care Act. They say Affordable Care Act, it's the Rape You, Bankrupt You, Death Panel Act. They say Patriot Act, it's Destroy Patriotism and Freedom Act. They say New Freedom, it's Drug Your Kids, Destroy Your Family Act. There it is. Feinstein wants to limit who can be a journalist. Scroll down. 
I just need the name, the name of the state.